everyone so it's the beginning of a new year which means it is time to start a bunch of yearly projects i usually start the year off really strong with a lot of yearly introductions for projects that i have every intention of finishing throughout the year and then life gets the better of me and i kind of fall off of posting on my youtube channel but i do always try and maintain the project even if it's behind the scenes this year i am going to try and join in on a few projects and hopefully see them until the end of the year so if you'd be interested in following along on my progress i'd really encourage you to subscribe and have a look at my progress throughout the year so i debated for a long time doing the 21 in 2021 project which is kind of one that's like a rolling theme that a lot of people do every year, 20 and 2020, 19 and 2019, that kind of thing. But then I thought maybe it would actually be better if I jumped in on a panning collaboration that would keep me a little bit more motivated to do it with a bunch of other people. So this year I am joining in on the Pantastic Ladies collaboration Beauty A to Z. So this is a project that they do every year and it's based on picking a product for every letter of the alphabet. So 26 products to use up in an entire year. I thought that was pretty close to 21 in 2021 so I would join in and give myself a little extra boost to maybe finish five extra products. So I'll have the Pantastic Ladies link down below as well as everybody else who is joining in on this collaboration this year like I said it's a very popular project and lots of people join in every year so I'll have their Instagrams and YouTube channels linked and you can follow everyone along throughout the year so I've got 26 products to show you and my goal for all of them is to finish the product I don't know if I will be able to achieve that but if you have a look at my last two yearly empties for 2019 and 2020 which I just posted then you'll see that I might struggle to finish this many makeup products in a full year but i'm not gonna let that deter me and i am going to set the goal to finish all these products this year and then just see how i go so let's go through the alphabet starting with the letter a my first product is the mac lip liner in the shade auburn this is a very nice kind of reddish shade. Let me see if I can actually swatch it for you. So that's the shade there. It's kind of a terracotta red shade and it is a pretty much full-size product. I haven't used it all that much at all, but I would like to finish it this year. I have chosen a few single shadows and I've put them in this little Z palette here. So the first one I'll show you is a Bare Minerals eyeshadow. This is kind of a peachy, matte, satiny kind of shade. This I took out of the Bare Sensuals palette and I would like to finish that in 2021. I use it kind of like a brow bone or a uh, primer setting shade and it's perfectly usable for that. For C, I have another single. This is the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Club. This I've had for so many years and I've hardly ever used it, but I bought it because it was such a cult classic back in the day. And as you can probably see from my swatch, it's definitely losing pigmentation. This was one of those original kind of burgundy to blue to green shifting duochromes. And I do like wearing it as like a single shadow look. And so, you know, in the spirit of the beauty A to Z, I'm going to try and finish Club in 2021. For the letter D, I have my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Double Dare. So there are lots of Ds in that name. I have had, I've had this lipstick for many, many years and there's definitely a lot of windows in it. So I should be able to finish it, but that being said, it is a liquid lipstick. That's what it looks like there. It is one of my favorite shades, but we'll see if I'll be able to actually move it out this year. For E, I picked a bit of a gimme product. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. That's where I found the E, and it is just a miniature. So I know I'll definitely be able to finish this, and at least I'll have one product finished for this project. For F, I have the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in the shade Coral. This is a lip balm that I purchased at the beginning of 2018, and this is how much I have left. Not too much. It's not my favorite lip balm formula, and Fresh is not cruelty-free, so I would love to be able to finish this up. Hopefully, 
and wouldn't it take more than a month? This might be one of the first ones I finish. Now, surprisingly, the letter that I found the most difficult to find the product for in my collection was G. So I ended up going with this. This is the Marc Jacobs Glistening Illuminator Glow Stick in the shade Spotlight. I think that's what it's called. Either way, there are two Gs in that name, so it works. Um, this is a cream highlighter. It's got a really nice kind of gold shift to it. I can't roll it up, unfortunately, because the mechanism broke, so I can't roll it back down easily, but I would really love to be able to finish this. This is a product that I had in my 2018 50 makeup products I want to finish in a year or something whatever I called that project I think it was 2018 I obviously didn't finish it it's still kicking around and I would love to try and move it out this time for H I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand this is in the shade Spotlight as well and this is a really glowy gold highlight a lot of people absolutely love this product I do not um, I much prefer the accompanying bronzer sh shade, but anyway, this is how much I have left. Not a whole lot, and it's only 12 mils anyway, so I would really love to be able to finish this too. For eye, I have another Hourglass product. This is from that really slim lipstick range I can't remember the name of, and this is in the shade I Live For, which is a very hot orange, but this is all that I have left. And this much even then has already broken up off from the base. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I'd love to finish that up in January. J was also a super hard letter to find something for in my collection. So I went with this. This is the Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask in the shade Strawberry Jelly. I got this in a little gift set that I purchased uh, at the beginning, no, at the end of December. And it is kind of a tinted lip balm. I'll give you a little bit of a swatch. It's just a very light pink lip balm. You probably can't even see it. And it smells very strongly of strawberries. I also have this lip balm in the grapefruit full sized. So I would like to kind of use this one up and then have a lot more time to use up the full size. For K, I have this Kiko Color Kajal Coal Pencil in the shade number 8. So this is like a turquoise kind of color. I've had this for a really long time and I would really like, oh, it matches my nails. I would really like to move this out. I just don't really use colored eyeliners. So it'd be nice to get rid of the only one that I have. For L, we're going back to my single shadows and that is Max Eyeshadow in Naked Lunch. So as you can see, I've used up a really good chunk of that. It is my oldest MAC eyeshadow, so I would love to be able to use it up as it is definitely losing pigmentation. I'll give you a swatch, but it's not really a shadow to swatch, if that makes sense. It's a very, very light shimmery shade that I usually use as an inner corner highlight um, because it's not really anything all that spectacular. But it is a cult classic and I would love to finish it. As you can see, I have tried to pick quite a few non-cruelty free products to try and use up and get out of my collection this year as I am still transitioning to a completely cruelty free collection. So that brings me to M, which is another MAC product. This is the MAC lip liner in the shade Chicory. And so this I prefer a lot more to Aubrey to Auburn. It's this one here. As you can see, it's much more of an orange shade than the red of Auburn, and I really love wearing this under a lot of my uh, autumn winter lip colors. N. I have a NARS dual intensity eyeshadow in the shade Himalaya. I would love to finish this. I got so much use out of it a few years ago, so there's a big pan in it, but it's definitely nowhere near finished. That's where it's there. Still a lot of color left in it, and I would just really like to finish that. I did slip one nail polish into this project for the letter O. I picked the OPI nail polish in On the Same Page. It's a really nice kind of um, darker orange, I guess. It's also my oldest OPI nail polish, so hopefully I can finish that one up. It's down to about there, so not too much left. 
for P, I've got a MAC Pro Longwear Fluid Line in Black Track. Now, you can see, obviously, I'm trying to use up a lot of my MAC products. This is where it is at the moment. It's pretty much more than halfway done, definitely. Um, there's not a whole lot left. I have been using it flat, down flat, instead of going straight down to the bottom. But I think I should be able to use this up in one year. For Q, I picked a product from Suku, which has two Qs in it. This is the Suku Balancing Eyebrow in the shade 02 Brown. So this is the shadows that I use as my eyebrow colors. And I'd like to finish both of those shades up. As you can see, I've got definitely a lot more progress on this one than on this one. I have considered kind of mixing them together or something like that, but... In the meantime, I just want to finish them. For R, I picked a foundation. This is the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Cream Foundation. I purchased this at the end of 2019 and I've been using it all year, but I'm nowhere near finishing it. That's how much I have left. Heaps, essentially. It says that it, you're supposed to be able to finish it in a year because it expires in a year. So this is expired. But there's so much product left, I'm not going to throw that away. So hopefully I will be able to finish that in the next year. For S, I picked an eyeshadow from Stila. This is just a matte brown from the Eyes of the Window Soul palette. And this is just a really easy kind of shade to use with um, any look, really. It's just a matte brown easy. For T, I picked another mascara. This is the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara from their C range. This is brand new, full size, never used, um, so it's just going to be the full size mascara I use in 2021. Easy. And then the last single shadow that I've chosen is this one from Urban Decay. So Urban Decay, that's my U, and this is from the Naked 2 palette. It's the shade Tease. I've already got pan on it, but it would be great to finish. It's just a matte kind of taupey shade, a really nice mid-tone color, and that I use with heaps of different things. So I'll try and finish it again in 2021. For V, I have the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Play Pen. This is one of my favorite lip products. I just love the formula, but unfortunately NARS is no longer cruelty free, so I'm just going to try and use it up. That's the shade there, a really nice peachy pink. Um, this one, I have very little product left. It's got a lot of windows when I move the wand around. So again, hopefully I can finish this up pretty quick. Another lip product for W. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Dip. This I got in a little miniature set uh, in for Christmas. I'll swatch it just at the top here. And this is a really nice kind of neutral shimmery shade. I think it'll be really easy to wear throughout the whole year. So hopefully I'll be able to use this up. It is just a mini two mils, so that should be perfectly doable. Now, this was one of the only X's I could actually find in my whole collection. So I've chosen the Cover FX Perfect Light Highlighting Powder in the shade Moonlight. So this is what it looks like. I do have a baby pan there, and it is a super neutral, shiny highlighter. Can you even see that? Nope. Nope, blends straight into my hand. It's just a really easy highlighter, and I am trying to use up a few more of my powders because I definitely prefer cream products. So this probably, I don't know if I'll be able to finish, but I'll give it a red hot go. For why I chose the Ilia Fade Into You Setting Powder, um, Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is the only full size powder I have but it takes me so long to finish powder because I don't really use it that often or I don't use that much when I do. But that's where I'm at at the moment, just kind of right in line with the weight there. So we'll see how I go trying to finish this, but I'm definitely not going to be using more powder than I usually would. So I'll use it as much as I can. And the last product for Z, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Uh, this I chose because it is my only powder bronzer, but it might look a little bit 
different. So this is a Becca um, product packaging that I've repressed the bronzer into. I hit really significant pan in this this year and I decided to repress it to um, get a little bit more use out of it. And the packaging for my Filmstar Bronze and Glow broke. So instead of using that all the time, I thought it'd be easier to just put it into a single compact by itself. I've also mixed in another eyeshadow to this. So you might have noticed in my Suku palette here, this shadow is missing. I actually took it out and crushed it up and put it in this because they were very similar in color. So this will be two products if I'm able to finish this one up. And I think I will be able to. It's uh, definitely less than 5.5 grams, which is the size of this pan. So there you go. That is my introduction for the Beauty A to Z project pan for the Fantastic Ladies. Like I said, I'll have everyone involved linked down below as well as the Facebook group if you want to join in, whether you're on Instagram or on YouTube. So 26 products that I'm hopefully going to finish in a full year, all makeup, uh, except for one nail polish. I don't know how I'll go. Uh, every time I pick a yearly project like this, I'm not very successful. I just don't seem to have the momentum to stick it to the end. But I am working really hard to use up a lot of my products at the moment and get them out, especially my non-cruelty free products. So please let me know if you're involved in this project or if you're doing something similar. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.